Number one asks us to find the value of each variable that makes the equation true. So we learned um, in this lesson that if we're multiplying powers of the same base, so they both have a base of two, um, then we can just add those exponents. So we're going to do three to, or sorry, two to the five plus three. So this is going to be two um, to the eighth power. So A is equal to eight. B, um, we have 7 to the 4th divided by 7 to the B equals 7 to the negative 2. So we know that when we're dividing, we can just subtract the powers. So we're going to take 4 minus B. So 4 minus B is going to equal this negative 2. And then we can just solve this. So we can subtract 4 from both sides. And then we get negative B equals negative 6. So B is going to equal positive 6. Um, and then part C, we know that if we have this fraction here, um, let's write it as a power of 8. So if it can be written as a power of 8, let's do that. So 64 is 8 squared. So then when you have a fraction like this, this is the same as this base but to the negative exponent. So 1 over 8 squared is the same as 8 to the negative 2. So then that's equal to 8 to the C power. So C is equal to negative 2. Number 2, select all expressions that are equivalent to this one. So right away, I'm just going to notice that this is multiplying all powers of 7. So this is going to be 7 to the negative 2 plus 5 plus negative 3. And that all adds to 0. So this is equal to 7 to the 0 power. And then remember, when you have anything to the 0 power, that equals to 1. And you can think about that because if we had like 7 to the 5th over 7 to the 5th, all of these would cancel out. We'd have um, 5 7s on top. And we'd have five sevens on bottom. And when we divide those all out, they'd equal one. So seven divided by seven is one. Seven divided by seven is one. So this is all going to equal one. And you can think of it as the same number divided by itself is one. So we know that we have this. So it's definitely not equal to zero. It is equal to one. It is not equal to one over seven. It is seven to the zero power. It is not 7 to the 10th. Number three, which expression is equal to this one? Um, and so we know that when we're dividing, that means we're subtracting the powers. So when we have the same base of a 3, then we can just subtract the powers. So then this will be 3 to the 6th power, which is D. Um, and if you're having a hard time remembering the rules, remember that's because there's eight threes up here. Okay, so this is three times itself eight times, and on the bottom, it's three times itself twice. So then three divided by three is one, three divided by three is one. So it's like you're subtracting two of the threes out, and we're left with six threes or three to the sixth power. That's where that rule is coming from. Number four, find the value of each variable that makes the equation true. So here um, we're going to subtract because we're dividing. So we're going to do 6 minus m should be equal to 9. So 6 minus m should equal 9. So then we can subtract 3, or sorry, subtract 6 from both sides. And we get negative m is equal to 3. So then divide by negative 1, and we get that m is equal to negative 3. Part B, um, so notice here that they're not the same base. So this one's just a this one's a 2 and this one's a 4. So in order to do these rules, we're going to have to write them as the same base. So we're going to need to write this 4 to the n as a power of 2. So 4 is really 2 squared, so I'll rewrite that. And then we know when we have a power to a power that we just multiply those. So we have 2 to the 3rd, 
times 2 to the 2n, so just multiply those together, and then this should equal 2 to the 11. So now that we have powers of the same base, so they both have a 2 at the bottom, now we can add these exponents together, and they should equal that 11. So we'll just add together um, 3 plus 2n to equal 11. So then we can subtract 3 from both sides, and we get 2n equals 8. Divide by 2, and we get n equals 4 here. Um, all right, then this last one, so we've got, again, a power of a power here, meaning we've got um, this 7 to the 4k times. So then we'll just multiply those. So this is 7 to the 4k is equal to 7 to the negative 8. So now we can just say that these two equal each other since they have the same base and they're set equal. So we know that 4k will equal negative 8. We'll divide by 4, and we get that k is equal to negative 2. Then number 5, evaluate each expression. So here we have 6 to the 3rd divided by 6 to the 3rd. Well, we know anything divided by itself is equal to 1. So then explain how this helps us show why 6 to the 0 equals 1. And I did this a little bit um, earlier. But if we do 6 to the 3rd over 6 to the 3rd, we know if we follow the rule, okay, the rule is that this equals 6 to the 3 minus 3, which means that this equals 6 to the 0 power. So that's following the rule. If we kind of follow the definition of exponents, okay, we know that this is three sixes on top and three sixes on bottom. And then we know if we do six divided by six, that's one. Six divided by six is one. Six divided by six is one. So then we end up with one times one times one, which is just one. So then you can see that six to the zero equals one.